Hey everyone, the name is Erector and today we're talking extroverted intuition and with this cognitive functions like all others you either like it or you don't. You either enjoy talking about the future or you don't. So extroverted intuition is a flow function in the ENFPs and the ENTPs but also in the ENTJs and the ENFJ personality types. So what does that mean? First it means when you interview these people and they talk about what they're they like the most, what they find the most interesting. It's usually connecting patterns. It's usually figuring out what's going to happen next. It's usually planning their next day. It's planning a party, planning going out, planning going to a visit a new place. It's all about potential for them. It's all about possibility. What can a person achieve or accomplish? What is my purpose or potential? What is it I could do in this very moment? What could I say or do next? What would other people say or do next? So extroverted intuition is focused on what's to come. That's what makes it a flow function. When you enjoy talking about what's to come, when you find this interesting, when you find this worthwhile to talk about, you're an extroverted intuitive type. In other types like the ISTJs and ISFJs, extroverted intuition is rather a stressor in their life. For that means they are overwhelmed by thinking about the future. Potential and possibilities scare them. It makes them anxious. It makes them unsure of what's to come. Because they cannot know for sure, certain what is going to happen, there can be a great degree of ambivalence and anxiety in thinking about what you are going to do after all this. Freedom can feel s scary in the sense that you don't know what to do with it. You don't know where it will take you. You don't know what's going to happen. So when extroverted intuition is your flow function, introverted sensing is your stressor. You become bored easily by predictability. You find yourself feeling anxious if things stay the same for too long. You need change and that's what makes NE your flow function. Now there's a difference between having strength of use in extroverted intuition and having extroverted intuition as your flow function. Even if you're an ENFP or an ENTJ, your extroverted intuition might not be used to the extent it should be, and you might not have been able to develop it as you should. What can happen then? What happens if extroverted intuition is not your dominant? Well, if it's not your dominant, but rather your inferior, for example, what that means is you can easily find yourself stuck in a rut. Everything is always the same, every day the same, every uh, time you go up it's the same time, every day you go to the same places, you know, you find yourself in the situation where you're constantly bored. Nothing new ever happens, there are no plans, there's no time to plan a vacation, not enough money to go out and do anything fun, you know. You're caught in this really annoying situation you can't get out of, you feel trapped. Now, an extrovert intuition rather is uh, in the dominant slot, you're always thinking about the future. You're planning things, you're going to new places. Every day there's novelty, novelty, novelty. You never know what's to come. There's always something interesting happening. There's always new things to try out. You're always trying to change things up. You're always finding new venues, new places, and new people to talk to. So you're in the situation where there's a frequent or high dose of novelty where you can be open-minded and where you can be outgoing. Extroverted intuition in the dominant slot suggests high outgoingness and high openness, but in the inferior slot it can rather suggest shyness or timidness or a close-mindedness or a traditionality. It can be that other things in your life, such as your ethical values or your uh, plans or ambitions are keeping you from truly spreading your wings and expressing yourself. Or it can be that your anxieties, your fears are keeping you trapped and causing you to fear movement or trying out something new. When extorted intuition is in the inferior slot and it's something you don't like, it's a secret hidden thing that you never deal with. You know, some people they're never thinking about what's to come. They're always uh, avoiding the future. They're always avoiding change. They're always keeping themselves hidden in the past. You know, they uh, escape to traditional and consistent and stable things. And uh, that means they f miss out on all these new things that are happening around them. They become walking skeletons or museum pieces. You know, people that hold on to 
lost uh, generations tech people that uh, avoid or f- are fearful of fut- the future. People that talk about the future in negative or dangerous terms using dark and heavy metaphors. Some people have this approach towards the future as it is always going to be worse than whatever it was before. Things are always going in the wrong direction. Everybody is always going in the wrong direction. Everybody is doing things wrong. Everything new is scary or bad or pointless or stupid. Now The way you talk about and approach intuition, that reveals a lot about you as a person. Obviously, sensors can appreciate intuition in other people, because others' intuition can help balance out your own tendencies. But for yourself, intuition is nothing fun. It's nothing fun in its own. It's not something you enjoy doing. It's not something you like having to deal with. By yourself, you rather find yourself focused on things you're familiar with. Now, for the extrovert intuitive, it can often be hard to define what you're really interested in. What am I actually interested in? You know, last week I was interested in that, and but today, right now, I'm actually interested in this. And what, who knows what I'll be interested in tomorrow? That can mean it's hard to define yourself and identify with a personality type or to describe yourself. You feel like you're a little bit of everything at once. You're interested in everything and everyone. You're interested in going to every single country. You can see yourself... Uh, going in out to any kind of restaurant you can see yourself enjoying talking with any kind of person just because you are high on openness the more intuitive you are the more op- your openness is the higher your openness and openness is the more in- your intuition is going to flourish so as an intuitive the first thing you want to do is you want to practice your openness to experience and your outgoingness I hope this video helped you as an extrovert intuitive or a friend or family member of an extrovert intuitive and I hope this helped you understand your own thoughts and experiences with change and the future. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.